In this video, I'm gonna see if I can build an entire niche site using AI in under an hour. Not just the site, we're gonna go from buying the domain all the way to having 50 articles ready and published in one hour. All interlinked, all with topical authority, all in one niche, well-written articles with images in one hour. Hour. This is a bit of a challenge. This is a bit of fun. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, let's find out. Time is 10 now. I have until 11 to make this happen. <laughs> let's go. Right, first of all, I don't actually know what niche this is going to be in yet. So I'm going to go to ChatGPT and ask it to tell me a good niche to start this site on. So I'm using ChatGPT Plus for this. That's the one you pay for, but GPT-4 I think is slightly better. Um, give me a good niche for a niche site that is likely to be underserved, underserved, and might rank well in Google. Actually, I'm going to ask for a few examples because um, it might not be that good. Give me a few examples of a good niche for a niche site that's likely to be unserved and might rank well in Google. The more boring and easy to write about that other people might not write about, the better. Let's see what it comes up with. Replacement parts for specific vintage applications. Might be a bit difficult. Um, regional soil analysis guides, that is quite boring. Specialist pet diet plans. That sounds good. Okay, um, I'm going to go now for specialized pet diet plans. So I'm going to copy paste this. I've got, this is all off the top of my head, I'm just going to see what happens. Um, give me some ideas for domain names for Right, I'm just gonna take one of these. What do I like the most? Um, scaled nutrition is pretty cool. Uh, I want something with a keyword in it though, just for this whole thing. Cold-blooded cuisine, that would be cool if that's available. Let's go for that. Coldbloodedcuisine.com. Coldbloodedcuisine.com is taken. I'm not surprised. Uh, serpent suppers. Let's go for that. This entire site is going to be about snake nutrition. Serpentsuppers.com is available. I'm going to go ahead and click buy. We have no time to waste. We're two minutes in and I've already got a domain name and niche. Right, let's do it. Of course, I'm going to blur all of this out. You're not getting my card details. You sneaky sneak. I have far too many domain names. Didn't realize Serpent Suffers would be one of them, if I'm honest. Be hilarious if I do this and this becomes my best website. Come on, come on, come on. You don't have time for this. I'm gonna leave this in real time and just blur out things because <laughs> then you can see it's actually legit. So if you do wanna fast forward or skip at any point, then I'd encourage you to do so. Right, finish registration. I'm doing this all on Hostinger, by the way. That's what I use for most of my sites. I find it fast, I find it easy, and I can host quite a few sites with still the same monthly fee. So I've just bought the domain on there to make it nice and simple when I now set up the site for that domain. Serpentsuppers.com, let's go. 
I'm also going to have the link to hosting good below, but if you want to go and check it out, if you're not, you don't already have a host, then I would recommend Hostinger. Right, connect your website to your hosting plan. This is going to be a blog. I'm going to create a new website. We're going to go for WordPress, uh, yada, yada, yada. That will be my uh, email. Um, put the password in. That's good. Uh, added plugins. I don't want Monster Insights. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Untick everything. Don't want that. Uh, and for now, I'm just going to choose any old one. 2023 is fine. Choose a domain. That's the one, serpentsuppers.com. And it's setting up the site. While it's doing that, it should only take a couple minutes, I'm going to go back and say, um, please suggest five content clusters for the above website, Serpent Suppers. I'm going to go for five content clusters with 10 articles each. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that on using AI in a moment. So here we go, Reptile Nutrition Basics. That's going to be yada, yada, yada. Feeding Schedule and Plans, Specialized Diet and Health Conditions. Uh, I'm going to go back and just tell this again because we're not just go we're not going for reptiles. We're nailing down on snakes. So recreate the above uh, content clusters, but specifically, oh, do I need to write correct? I don't know. But specifically relate it to snakes. Now it's going to do the again, the above again, but just make it about snakes. While it's doing that, I think I can go back because my website is now ready. Uh, edit your website. Let's do that. Right, WordPress is set up. We've gone from domain name to having a WordPress site in six minutes. Now there's a few plugins and stuff that I always put into a new site, so I'm going to do that very quickly. The first thing I like to do is install a theme. Um, it is a theme that I use across most of my sites, so I'm going to add that now. It's called Cadence. Again, the link will be below. I paid for the license once, and that gives me unlimited use across as many sites as I want, and that's why I like it. It's very fast, and it's also very good, and it gives you uh, some starter templates, which I'll show you in a minute. So if I just search for Cadence, I've already got all the plugins, I think. Here you go, Cadence 1.1. I'm pretty sure it's this one. If not, what you can also do is once you've paid for it, I'm going to go to the Cadence site here. Right, I'm going to activate that theme. Once it loads, I'm going to install the Cadence starter templates. And just while I keep my train of thought, you can also just go back to the, um, see all the different sites I have there. Um, you can go back, and this is where you can download all of the theme, the blocks, the plugins, yada, yada. That's all included within Cadence. And it's basically all I need to now build this site. So that's, that's installed the original theme, and then you can also see here that there are a bunch of templates that you can start with. Um, I've paid for the pro version, which gives me access to all of these. So I'm going to go up to here and click blog. It's going to be a blog. These are the examples. If you don't want to pay for pro, you can also choose the free one. So for this, and you know, to give you a start, if you want to try it without paying for the pro license, we're going to go with the free one. Here, this is what it will look like. This is actually based on a food and photography one, but we're going to change that. Uh, maybe I'll just change the theme. What's a good, there you go, I think green is good for snakes. Um, I need to install that plugin. So let's just go back quickly, and I'm going to install the plugins first before I do that. Misstep. Right, so upload plugin here, and then I should, again, if I just search Cadence, then I should have all of my plugins. So that's the latest one by the looks of it. Okay, these blocks in store. Do, 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 do. Come on, internet. We don't have time for this. Um, 
There you go, that, that's done. Should actually be quicker than this if you have decent internet. Uh, right now, I've got the actual content cluster here with all my articles I'm going to create. It even tells me what sort of supporting articles I should go for. I'm going to leave that there. That's going to be the basis of this site. So the plugin should now be activated. There you go. Now we're going to go back to, where is it? My themes, my starter templates, and I'm going to install that starter template. Just go back to it. What was it? It was blog. You can also filter by free only, or you can upgrade to pro. I recommend pro, it's what I use for all my sites. But for this example, we're doing it super fast, and we're gonna go green. We do full site. Now it will import all of the images for that site if that's what you want it to do. I don't want it to because um, then I have to go and delete those images and it's not really related to snakes. So I'm just gonna do import content. We're gonna untick that and then subscribe to learn about more. No, I don't wanna do that, uh, but I do wanna accept the privacy, no, I don't want to do that. I want to unclick that and then skip start importing. I don't want a newsletter, but you can go get it if you want. That is now importing the settings. It's going to set up our site ready to go. Uh, this is done. I can close that. Those I don't need right now. I was just showing you it. And yeah, we're pretty much now ready once this does it to start creating articles. So we've got here, these are my Topics. My core topic is introduction to state snake nutrition. Let me copy paste that. And now we're going to go over to the most fun part, which is creating all of the articles. I'm using a site called machined.ai. You can find that in my description. I've also done another video on it, which should pop up. But yeah, this is very powerful to create entire clusters using AI. You do also need an open AI API key, which you're gonna go put in in the top right here. I've already done it, it is included in the other video, but that's what you need to connect your machine.ai to OpenAI, and you're gonna be using the OpenAI API to create all of these articles. So what I'm gonna do right here is connect my new site. This is, what do we call it? I can't even remember now. Uh, serpentsuppers.com, so serpentsuppers Dot com. Uh, my username will be the email I just signed up with. You can also obviously set up a different account. And then now I've got to put in the application password. So I'm going to go back here. So my site is now ready. Let me just open that in a new tab. I'm going to go to my users, go to profile. And here I'm going to go down to an application password. It also shows you how to do this on machine.ai. But here I'm going to put in machine as the name. Doesn't matter, whatever you want to call it and I'm gonna add new application password. Extra profile information for author box. All right, so I need to put in some other stuff first. Um, why has it done that? Hmm. We need to go and do something else on Hostinger first, I believe. Right, that is my site. Doesn't look great right now. It's going to soon. So I'm just going back into my WordPress via hosting because I do want it to, that's, that's how I want it to look. I don't know why it's giving me the preview there, first of all. So I'm going to close that and now we're going to open up the serpentsuppers.com instead. And that's where I'm now going to go get my information. So if I go to profile here, um, whatever, let's just do this quickly. Serpent Suppers, that's my first and last name. Uh, my name publicly is going to be Serpent Suppers. And then here, I should be able to now put in machined and then add new application password. There you go. That's what we wanted. Right, I'm now going to go back and copy paste that into here. And that should be the right username. Let me just double check that. Go back up. The username is, no, my username is serpentsuppers.com. So that's what we want to put in here. And that's how machined is going to connect to my site. Invalid. Oh, <laughs> we put in the passwords, introduction to snake nutrition. Never mind. Let's go back and now copy that. There you go. 
This is all a bit rushed, of course. You don't have to do it in an hour. I'm trying to do it in an hour. That is now done. OK, so I'm now connected. Then I'm going to click Create Cluster. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. This is my cluster. It's Snake Nutrition Basics. And we want the core topic to be an introduction to snake nutrition. So I think I would like that as the topic at the top. And then the target topic is Snake Nutrition Basics. The audience is people interested in snake nutrition and diet, uh, English, US. And then it's also going to do all my interlinking, so you want to make sure that you get the right URL in. This, for me, is serpentsuppers.com. Uh, I just need to delete that. There you go, serpentsuppers.com. And then I'm going to choose Autopilot. And then you can choose how big a cluster you want. Do I want it small? Well, actually, this is what ChatGPT suggested. But if I do that, that's only going to give me five. 10, 15, 20, 25 articles. So I'm going to go for a larger cluster. I want to create 50 articles. I'm going to go for the medium one and click on that. This doesn't take long at all. You're going to see it in real time. It's going to create my whole cluster in about 30 seconds. Don't fail me now. There you go. It's done. Um, so here we go. It's now created my whole cluster with the volume competition. Some of them surprisingly high competition snake food, snake diet, and you can see all of the keywords here below. Snake diet, snake food, snake feeding, snake digestive system, snake fat. It's given me all of these articles to play around with. You can also see here that you can see the different models it's going to use. That's connected to my API key. So I actually have access to GPT-4. Um, I'm going to use that for a few of these articles. You can choose the tone of voice, SEO optimized is best for what we want. And then third person, second person, first person, blah, blah, blah. Um, third person is the one I think that would work best for these articles. They're quite informational. And then you can click write. The only downside about this site right now is it's not actually the site. It's the GPT-4 API. It is a little bit slow. So you can see here in real time, that's how long it's taking to write one article. If I was going to do this site a bit slower, I would use GPT-4 for every single article because it is a lot better than GPT-3.5. But doing that right now is going to slow us down a lot. So instead, I'm going to change all of these to GPT-3.5. And then as soon as this GPT-4 one is finished, you're going to see how quick GPT-3.5 is in comparison. In the meantime, I'm going to open up Canva, because that's where we're going to be getting our images from. I'm going to create a new doc. It can be absolutely anything. Let's just go for a YouTube thumbnail. That's fine, because we're going to delete this. And then I'm going to start with a blank one. And then I'm going to put in here one of the elements. I am actually using Canva Pro for this, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, that's what we want as basic. And then I'm just going to duplicate the page. Ooh about 20 times. Why is it doing that? Ah, OK, it's because I started clicking delete. Here we go. I'm going to duplicate that about. Well, let's go for more. We've got about 50 articles that we're going to be creating. So I want 50 images. This is probably the only thing that's going to take a little bit of time. There you go. There's 50 images ready to go. But of course, they're all blank. That doesn't look anything like a snake. So I'm going to go back and search in the elements snake. Now, you'll see here, there is other ways to get those images, by the way. But this is a way you can create kind of original images. All I'm going to do here is drag these into each one. And you're going to have, you can see they're slightly different dimensions. So we're creating a new image with ones that are um, different size. And I think Canva. By the way, all of these are on the pro plan. There are free images, but I think the pro plan is better to get images that are not a lot of other people are using. Um, this background thing basically slots the image into uh, your image, I guess, um, without it being too difficult. The pro plan, I think, is only about $10 a month. And I use it across my sites because it gives me access to a lot more images that a lot of other people won't be using. You know, on sites like Unsplash or, or whatever, Pexels, there's only really, 
that one looks, well, I don't know, it might look all right, whatever. We don't really care right now at this point. But yeah, sorry, um, Unsplash and Pexels and stuff, like loads of people use those images. Um, I think less people are using these and there is quite a lot of them. Pretty much for any kind of search term, you can find images and um, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna stop at 30 in this example because it doesn't actually matter all that much and um, this is taking up a little bit of our time. So let me do this, I'm almost finished. That's a sea snake, I don't think it matters that much. Uh, I did not know I would be doing this at the beginning of the video, looking at 30 different pictures of snakes. Right, there you go. Uh, I'm now just gonna delete the rest of these. Let's go through, yada, yada, yada. 30 will be fine, and you'll see why in a minute. Right, so then we're gonna go for snake, or let's go for serpent suppers, just to give it a quick name. I'm then gonna click share, and then we're gonna go download. I want JPEGs for, actually no, I want PNGs, that's gonna give us the highest quality. I don't want to compress it. I want all 30 pages ticked, save download settings, click download. That's gonna give me 30 images that I'm gonna upload in a second. Let's go back to where we were, um, machined.ai. That should be finished. I reckon it would have taken two, three minutes while we're doing that. But what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna tick the rest of them and then all at once using GPT 3.5, we're gonna write the articles. They're now writing. I'll, sh I'll leave this up because I want to show you in real time how quick it is. Uh, that's going through. It's writing snake food, essential nutrition for healthy reptiles, snake feeding, essential nutrition basics, understanding the snake digestive system, a guide to snake nutrition, snake prey, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Unlocking sn snake fat. Um, I didn't know that snakes, uh, are snakes chubby? I, I didn't know that snakes got very fat. Uh, snake feeding schedule, anyway, everything you could think of for snake diet has come up here. This will continue. Uh, it shouldn't normally, there you go, once ready, normally takes about that time. A lot of these will tick over to ready probably in a minute or two. There you go, it's all popping up now, ready, ready, ready. Um, GPT-4, you can do this. You can tick all of them and write it with GPT-4, but I've noticed recently getting more errors doing it that way. Uh, I think it's the OpenAI API rather than this site, but sometimes it does just return errors, which is then wasting your credit. So that's another thing to be aware of for this, by the way, I didn't mention that before, but using the OpenAI API, you do get charged by OpenAI. It's not a lot for each article for GPT 3.5 is literally pennies um, for each GPT-4 article is about 40, 50 cents. So 10 of them only gonna cost you $5. Obviously, if you're paying someone to create 10 articles, it'll cost you a lot more than that. Almost done, two more, come on, you can do it. There you go. Those are written. That is 11 articles, all interlinked back to the main pillar article at the top, which is snake diet. Better than that, we're now gonna go and click post draft to WordPress. That now, because of the application password we put in before, is gonna post 11 articles to our WordPress. It goes into the draft folder, they're not going live yet because we still need to put in our custom snake images. Right, so if I go back to serpentsuppers.com, uh, I don't want that one open anymore, I don't want that. I do want the WordPress, don't know where that's gone, so I'm gonna to go to wp-admin. Here we go. Uh, I'm then gonna go down to my posts and you should see here that there we are. It's gone through to my blog category for some reason, but that's because we haven't set up categories yet. So what do we want? Um, let's go back to ChatGPT. Uh, what? Give me five categories for this site. I think I kind of know what they should be. Snake diet, snake care, blah, 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 uh, whatever. Um, what have we got? The core topic is snake food. 
preparing snake food, snake health, creating feeding schedules, snake nutrition. Give me them as WordPress categories. Should be one word, word. or one to two words is fine, I guess. Nutrition, feeding, health, preparation. Those sound pretty good. Um, so let's go for nutrition. Feeding. Fedding. Ah, for deeding. Feeding. What else did it say? Health. Health. Um, nutrition, feeding, diet, that sounds fine. I don't want reviews, um, so then we'll also go with preparation. Why am I so dumb? Preparation, okay. Preparation, there you go. Now, the other thing I think I want to do here is most of this is related to diet. So very quickly, you can do this on other sites as well. I'm gonna to go to my settings and go to writing, and then I'm gonna change the default post category to diet. Um, and that means the other ones that I upload should go through to diet. And then I'm gonna go back to categories and delete the blog category, which will remove the blog category from all my posts that I've already posted up here. Yep, they're now all on diet, which is perfect. That's what we want. Uh, the author is currently serpentsuppers.com. That's fine. Uh, now I need a plugin to get these images on them. The plugin I used for this, I think, is called there you go, Quick Featured Images. It's this one. It's free. You'll be pleased to know. Uh, activate. And then, do, 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 do. Actually, sorry, uh, while we do this, we could have machined doing the work in the background for our next cluster. So let me go back to that. Uh, what is my next cluster? Is, oh, it's not that one. It's snake feeding schedules and plans. Let me go back there, drop that in, and then all of that's already set up. Autopilot 10 articles. Let's go back to the plugin. We want this quick featured images one. I'm then going to do this top left, bulk set, replace, and remove featured images for posts. So we're now going to add a featured image to every one of these posts. Set multiple images randomly as featured images, and then we're going to choose the images we just made. I'm going to open that, click into it, Serpent Suppers. I've got my 30 images here. You can see all of them are about one and a half meg, so there's a really great feature on Mac, where I can basically resize them all and rename them all in one very quick movement. Uh, so a large JPEG, get rid of the metadata, and that's going to now convert them into JPEGs. That's done. I'm now going to click rename. You can do name and index where after name. So this is going to be Serpent Suppers. And then all of them now are going to be remain, renamed to Serpent Suppers 1, Serpent Suppers 2, yada, yada, yada. That's done. What we're going to do now is drag and drop our 30 custom images in. Cool, eh? They are now uploading. And while that's happening, we can go back to Machined. You can see here it's created me another 11 articles ready to go for snake feeding habits. Let me just do the first pillar one as GPT-4. I think that's the best way to do it. I'm going to write that, and then I'm going to select the rest and do, it's already on GPT 3.5, so that's fine. It's now writing me another 11 articles. Go back here, we've got the 30 images selected. Of course, you can do more, it just takes a bit more time. Maybe I could have done 50, you could do 100, whatever. Uh, choose these images. It's now gonna load them up, ready for us to do the next step. How's that getting on? Still writing. Oh, 
I think that's fine. I think it's just struggling to load the actual thumbnail, but I think that's fine. I'm going to click next. There you go. All right. Um, overwrite featured images, you could do that, but we only want the ones without any featured image right now. Uh, you could also filter by category. I'm going to show you how to do that. It doesn't matter right now because these are the first posts on there. But um, yeah, I could select diet, which is the category we just created, and then preview. Now it's going to set each one of those photos as the featured image for um, each one of those articles we just created. If you have a bigger pool of photos, there's less chance it will repeat. You can see a few of these have repeated. There is the pro version of this plugin, which then um, it, it, it doesn't repeat the images. It makes sure each one's different. But for our purposes right here, I don't care enough. I'm gonna click apply and that's gonna do all that work for us. So now you could then go into your posts and see any that are duplicated. So like, let's say this one, that's clearly duplicated. I'll just go click that instead, changed. Um, there was another one as well, there was that one. So whatever, let's do that. Uh, super quick to do it this way. And there was one more, I think it was this one. There you go, do a little snake mouth. Uh, I'll just, I don't know why they still do this. Hello world, like the hello dolly thing. It's so old school now. Right, uh, snake food, click in and let me show you what the article looks like because we haven't actually done that yet. Um, oh, that's all the first stuff when you first set up WordPress. Now it's got a pretty good article. If you, you know, this is a bit of an experiment, but I'd go through and read one of these to see how actually good they are because I think GPT-4 does a very good job and the most amazing thing is it's done all of the interlinks for us that actually work. You can see here now it's um, in the correct category. It's in diet. Uh, the featured image is there, which is also cool. So that's pretty much good to go. I like to convert it to blocks before I uh, upload, and I'm gonna show you why later in this video if we get time. So then I'm gonna go and click Publish. Let's see how that post looks. I mean, it's fine. It's got a lot of information. Now, of course, if you wanted to make this better, uh, you go and break it up with more images. The rest of the site still looks rubbish right now, but we're gonna fix that in a minute. All of these are now ready to post. So again, I'm gonna post draft to WordPress. Uh, and now I'm gonna improve the look of this site because that is pretty poor. Let's go back. Um, would have actually been, okay, so all the ones with images I now want to make public. You can, ooh, I missed the shift button. Here we go. Choose that one down to there. Why you no work? Right. Okay, for some reason, shift isn't working. Let's um, click them all individually. Right, they're all ready to edit, apply, and then status, change it to published. All of these are gonna be interlinked. You could also add in a couple tags for them. Let's say snake diet, diet, you know, whatever, um, done. And then they're all published. Now all the other ones that come through, snake feeding, uh, we probably don't want them in feeding. Uh, I'm gonna make one quick change here. Those are all in the category of diet. Um, these, it would have been better if these were in feeding, which I could have done by going and changing the default category for the next ones I upload, same as we did a minute ago. I just forgot to do that. So I'm gonna add the category as feeding. Unfortunately from this, it doesn't remove the category of diet. Um, so I'd have to go into each one and remove the category of diet, but we can do that later. These are all ready to go as well. So you can then go and do the same thing. I'm gonna hold off on that now because I may as well do them in bulk once all the rest of the articles are done. So again, let's go back and do this, create cluster, repeat, repeat. 
specialized diets and health conditions in snakes. Um, so what, that's probably gonna be health, isn't it? So let's go back here. Uh, let's delete that because we don't want it more to be focused on diet. People could focused on snake health, autopilot, 10 articles. Now we're gonna go back in here and then we're gonna change the um, writing again because the next one I want to upload to is health. Let's click save changes. I don't think that should have changed my stuff here. No, that's good. Uh, and now open AI and machined is creating some more articles for me. I like that it gives the volume and competition and trend as well because you know, it's just a nice feature. It's nice to know that I might end up ranking in some of these. So again, we're gonna write the top one with GPT-4 and then the rest with GPT-5, write articles. While that's doing that, what else were we gonna do? Oh yeah, improve the look of that site. Let's again go to start at templates. Uh, I'm going to go back to that blog that we just installed and click food photography. What was the uh, scheme, it was that one and then I'm gonna import a single page, which is the home. Let's go for that one. Skip and start importing page, right? Override your site's going to be Oh, that's because it's still set to What's going on here? Oh, there you go, okay. Just hadn't updated. So that is now my homepage. That's pretty good. That's already three, six, nine articles. Um, we're gonna make some changes here, but already I've got custom images, snake diet, they're all interlinked, and you can click into them, and it gives you good, probably fairly accurate, about snake diet. Definitely a lot more than I know about snake diet, anyway. Um, right. So here we still want, we want a menu, don't we? We want a menu and we want a logo. So the menu is gonna be primary. Here we go, create menu. Uh, I'm gonna add a home page, which is serpentsuppers.com. Add to menu. I'm then going to just add all of the categories as different menu items. We then also want a contact page, which we haven't created yet. So just do that. Contact, publish, add new page. Uh, these are all just like basic things that every site needs. So you need contact, you need an about, publish, and then add new page. Um, Terms and conditions. What are we on? 37 minutes in. The clock's ticking. Add new page. Privacy policy. By the way, when this gets to one hour, I'm going to finish the site. So you're going to go and see this site in the link in the description. I haven't touched it since the end of this hour. So you can see the point we got to. Um, Right, so that's all done. Now I should refresh. Let's just save the menu. How are my articles looking? They're already. Right, let's go tick and then post draft WordPress. I'm uh, going to add in an about and a contact, add to menu. And then I'm just going to put that underneath. That should be fine. How does the site look now? A bit better. Uh, we still want a logo in the middle here, don't we? So I'm gonna go back to Hostinger, which is quite good for this. And they do, they have a logo creator, I think. There you go, logo maker. This is included within Hostinger, it's free. Um, and so it's just a quick way of making an article, making a logo even. Right, so Serpent, yeah. Serpent, Suppers, is that what it's called? Yeah, Serpent Suppers. Don't need a slogan. Uh, 
you can actually even get our own custom um, snake drawn by AI, which is quite cool. You know, we're doing AI for all of this. Let's see what it comes up with. I could have done snake on a diet or something, but it might get confused. How's that going? They're all posted. So what are we on now? We need two more clusters. The next one is snake food preparation. So I'm just going to do that. Um, where was it? Snake food preparation. People interested in snake food preparation. Autopilot 10. Let's go. Uh, where was I? Ooh, that's cool. Which one? That one? That looks more like a dragon. I like that snake. Uh, I'm going to change because we already have a green background, don't we? So I'm going to change the color of this to white. Will that look good on there? Yeah, I think so. But then that's black already. So I actually think we just match the color of that. And I think the font needs to change for... Yeah, let's do that. That's cool. Download for free. Open this up. There's my logo ready to go. So now I need to go to my, is that? Yeah, okay, that's sorted. I need to go to customize, and I'm gonna upload my article to serpentsuppers.com. Back to machined again, we know the drill now. GPT-4, right, the rest of them, action. Write articles. With 20 minutes left, I can do this. <laughs> you got all of this up here. Uh, these links aren't sorted yet. I don't, obviously, I don't have social media for Serpent Suppers. Could go and create that later. I'm just going to leave them as is for now. Come on. What else can we change while we've got a moment? Just thinking if I can quickly make some more images just to vary it up a little bit. Um, that gives me a better chance of having more individual and original. Or like not original, but you know, it, it gives a better chance of not duplicating the image. Wow, that's loading. but you've never seen so many snakes before. Ahoy, ahoy. Right, um, there you go, okay. So that is done. Uh, I'm just gonna, again, download these because I'm not wasting more time on that, but it just gives me some more options to play around with. Let's go for that one. Uh, where were we? Hosting girl, that's done, I can close that. And then I'm gonna do the site identity, site title and logo control. And then we're going to upload that logo we just created. Select. Skip cropping. Hmm, surprise. Oh, I don't know why that's not showing up right now. There it is. OK. Um, what's this bar about then? I think that design doesn't look quite right to me. Uh, I would rather that in there. So I think this is set up slightly wrong. Um, maybe it's the menu location. Ah, okay, sorry, it's this one. Okay, I want it in there. Actually, I want the logo at the top and I want the primary navigation in the middle. How's this look? We don't have time for this. How about if we 
I'm sure someone's watching this right now and thinking like, what are you doing? But I sometimes I just get a little bit of a brain fart. Serpent suppers. Um, I'm gonna come back to that in a second. Click publish and see how it looks. How's machine doing? Yeah, oh, okay, one more, still going. You can do it. It looks all right. I mean, clearly I don't want that up there. I don't know why it's doing it. Um, I think the logo is nice. So we're up to a point there. I think what I'm gonna do for this is I wanna change the navigation of this for width. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If I publish that, how does it look? Whatever, I don't think it looks nice, but we're gonna leave it like that because it's annoying me. Uh, It's not that important. Sometimes you get focused on these things. We've only got 15 minutes. Obviously, if I was making a better site, I'm gonna change how that menu looks. Right, um, now I'm gonna go and go and come on, right. If I refresh, maybe it's just a problem there. For whatever reason, that one's not doing it. Don't have time to care about it. Post drafts to WordPress, it's gonna be 10 and then when that one does finally do it, I'll post that one as well. We have one more cluster to do. They're all posted. Now, let's go back and create the final cluster. What's this? Snake product reviews and recommendations. Where is it? Uh, well, it's not a bad idea, to be fair. I'm gonna leave that in. Um, people because then we can plug in some affiliate links later. People interested in Snake products. Uh, and then the URL, just because I just refreshed this, is of course serpentsnappers.com, autopilot10. Uh, let me now, we've got the top, we've got this, and then we've got these at the bottom. Uh, I don't like that it always does this, so let's go down to the bottom. I'm just gonna edit this and take out the, where is it? Take out the theme credit. Publish. Uh, you can remove the social links for now because, um, you know, don't have any. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna drop in a secondary menu on the right hand side here, which is, it will be this one. Uh, which we need to go and create very quickly. Let's go to create a new menu. Footer, footer. And then in here will be the privacy policy and terms and conditions. Which, again, we can just use ChatGPT for. Write me a privacy policy for the site Serpent Suppers. Now, of course, this isn't a legally binding one. It's ChatGPT just making it very quickly. There are other privacy policy template generators online. I'm just doing this because it's like, you know, it's a template, it's super fast. It, it works to create the basis of a website. I'll also do the same for the terms and conditions in a minute. Uh, here we go. They're all ready. One more time. Actions, write articles. Uh, here we go, let's go back here. It's crunch time. Ooh, no, ChatGPT is struggling. What's the last thing we need to do? Oh yeah, I will extract these again because these are my new images. Do the same thing we did before. Uh, where is that? Quick actions, convert image, large. Convert. 
rename. Keep it the same because it will just, uh, actually no, I'm going to start it at, what were we on, 31, uh, rename. And then we're going to go back and in a minute, once these ones are uploaded, I'm going to do some more featured images. So first of all, what I can do while this is all doing that, uh, I'm trying to do too many things right now. While this is doing that, I can start uploading the images. Where's my media? There we go. Drag these in here. Then what were we doing? Just adding a little footer. That's down here, isn't it? How's that look? That's fine. Again, not beautiful, but fine. I actually want it in that one, don't I? Yeah, that's better, whatever. Publish, Serpent Suppers. It's really annoying, I do not get it. Uh, Right, what more can we do? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Again, it's the last one. I don't know what that's about. It hasn't happened to me before. Right, we're going to go to past post draft to WordPress. They should be going on the site now. What else can we change to make this look even better in the last 10 minutes? I wish I could change that menu. Uh, posts, come on. Ooh, we forgot to change the category. So we'll go down to all the snake product reviews. Let me just add that as a category because we didn't do it originally. ChatGPT was actually right. Snake products. Or just products is fine, actually. Everything's related to snakes. Snake products, add new category, and then we want all of the snake product ones back up to here. Uh, bulk actions, edit, apply. Down to here, I think. Quick edit. Oh. Products, that's fine. Snake products. Blah, blah, blah. Done. Uh, it's in both health and products now. This is snake. That's the, also the preparation one. So let me just go down 10 here. Uh, food prep. And then I'm going to go change them to edit and apply. Preparation, update. All right, we've got 53 articles written. Now I need to do the Featured images, we're getting close. It's crunch time. Uh, this one, choose images. They should all be there now. I'm gonna select, oh, can't do control A apparently. I can do shift, I think. There you go, selects all of them and I just wanna undo this one and click choose images. It's now gonna create a featured image from all of these for each blog post. Click next. Uh, da, 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 da. It doesn't matter, it's all of them, but I only want to cons consider only posts without any featured image. That's going to create a featured image of a snake for every single one of these articles. Apply. That's done. We're now going to go to our posts, and in one swift move, let me go to drafts, screen options, I'm going to do 50 here to see all of them. I'm going to select all of them and we're going to publish them all at once. 
status published. Let's go. Right, all of these posts should still be up. What do we still need? Um, that's write a write an about page for the above website serpent suppers. Should have done that before. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so we've got 50 articles up. You can see it goes back six pages. We've got links to our privacy policy in terms and conditions, which I'm gonna update in a moment. The only slightly annoying thing that I just realized I've done wrong, normally on every site, I would go to uh, the settings first and change the permalinks because I don't know why. Um, WordPress still gives you that one, but I want a one, this one, which is just better for SEO. So I'll click save changes because annoyingly, this should update it right now. Yeah, uh, well, no. Um, I need to go into these. When I actually do the about page, I'll change the permalink. So here you go. Just copy paste this. So I'm going to do an about page for our snake site. About. Meet the founder, Jord Serpent Man. Jord, a snake lover, and he saw with a degree in snakes. <laughs> um, do I have a featured image already? Yep, okay, update. And then that should go to about, that's cool. Uh, that should now work if I refresh and go to my about page, perfect. Uh, write a contact page. Let's get rid of this because it is really getting quite close now. Go to my uh, contact page, edit page. I'm just going to copy that top bit to save some time. Contact page, info at serpentsuppers.com. What are we looking like? We've got four minutes left. Serpentsuppers.com. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, all of these boxes look pretty cool. Uh, you could then go in and see all the information. Of course, I hope all of this is accurate. Um, we've got my homepage, which is just a blog roll. We've got the about. Did I put in the privacy policy yet? I don't think I did. Maybe I can just do that very quickly. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Right, at terms and conditions. Um, where are we? Edit page. Privacy policy, edit page. <laughs> I feel like I'm like proper under pressure now. Uh, the last thing, it would actually be better if the internet was fast, wouldn't it? Uh, the last thing I want to do before we get there is, um, okay, here's the privacy policy update. That should be in. Uh, what else can I do? Go to pages. The very last thing I want to do is add another plugin, um, which is going to start indexing all of these posts we've just created. So I think it's index, index now, is it? Privacy policy page, I'm gonna bin that one because I've already got another one I just made. I didn't realize that was there. Two minutes. Now we want terms and conditions. Oh no. Oh my God, why is that so slow? Whatever, we don't have time for the rest of them. <laughs> right, 
That's done. That's done. Index now plugin, we want that. Come on, I got one minute left. Activate. This should start indexing things. Where is it? Uh, tools, users, settings, index now. One minute, let's get started. Okay, now it's gonna start indexing. That is all I'm able to do. It's now the end of the hour. So let's see what we created. Serpent suppers, all with interlinked articles. There is gonna be two articles we missed out on because of that issue with the API. It's now ready here, but unfortunately I can't post it. Um, so yeah, we missed out on that slightly, but you can see here, this is the rest of the site. And it works, it's live. You can go see it right now. There is something else I would do at this point, which is a affiliate AI plugin that I would use and it would do Amazon products for every single one of these blog posts. And yeah, that, that, would, be, that would be really powerful because it will insert the Amazon product into every post automatically. But I'll do another video on that. I hope that helped. I hope that was interesting to you. I made a whole site, 50 posts, all interlinked with a content cluster, well, five content clusters related back to a niche topic that I didn't even know I was gonna do an hour ago. It's finished. Go and have a look. If you enjoyed this, then let me know. Put a message in the comments below and maybe I'll try and do it again or we'll do another video like this. Thank you for watching.